Hey guys, in this quick start video, I'm going to show you how to install the Stockholm theme and install this sample data. Now, this particular demo store is called Caleb. And Stockholm actually features 20 unique demos. But for this video, I'm just going to focus on installing this demo store you see here, which is suitable for starting your own online store. So uh, let's get started. So here in the WordPress dashboard, uh, we're going to install the Stockholm theme first. And then after that, install the WooCommerce plugin, which is free. And the last thing we'll do is import the sample data. So let's go to the appearance, themes, click add new, and then upload theme. Here, let's click uh, choose file and go to the Stockholm theme that you downloaded from themeforest.net. And I'm going to select the stockholm.zip file, click open, and let's click install now. Okay, it says your theme installed successfully. Let's activate the theme. And it says right here, this theme requires the following plugins. Layer Slider WP and WP Bakery Visual Composer. So let's uh, begin installing the plugins. And then make sure you hover your mouse over this area here. Click Install. Okay, return to required installer. And then let's activate. Okay, and let's install the second one. Go back. And then let's activate that one. Now, when we go to the plugins, you might notice here under the layer slider WP, it says you need to authorize this site in order to get upgrades or support for this plugin. Purchase a license or enter an existing purchase code. You can actually ignore this message because the developer actually purchased the plugin, so you don't have to do anything. So next, we'll install the WooCommerce plugin. So let's click Add New under the Plugins, and let's search for WooCommerce. And we want to install this one here. It says WooCommerce Excelling E-Commerce. Click Install Now, and let's activate the plugin. And here it says you're almost ready to start selling, and it wants us to either install the WooCommerce pages or skip setup. And we're going to click skip setup. And the reason for that is because we'll be installing the sample data later on. So let's click skip setup. So next we need to set up the product image sizes. And we need to do this if we want to make the store exactly like the demo store. So let's go to WooCommerce, settings, and go to the products tab. And scroll down and here you see the product image sizes now if you go to the documentation it tells you here to enter these values for the product image sizes so let's do that so for the catalog images it's 254 by 300 for the single product image it's 538 by 538 and then for the product thumbnails, it's 170 by 205. Okay. Now let's click Save Changes. And the last thing we'll do is import the sample data. So let's go to the Select Import. And we need to import the demo number 11, which is called Caleb here. And then Import Type, we're going to select All. And make sure you check the box here for import attachments and click import. Now this process might take a few minutes, so uh, please be patient. Okay, the import is complete. Uh, so let's check the front end now. So go to the uh, visit site. And you can see it uh, looks pretty good, except here it says layer slide WP not found. So this is actually a pretty easy fix because we need to import the slider and that's actually separate. 
So let's go to the back end and we need to import the XML data. Go to the layer slider WP and then where it says import sliders, let's click choose file. And then if you go back to that same folder, you see the XML ex export. And here, since we're using the demo star number 11, we need to import this zip file. So click open. And let's click import. Okay, it's done. Let's check the front end again. And you notice here it's still not working properly. And the reason for that is, uh, let me just go back to the dashboard again. And then go to the layer slider WP. It's because the ID number here doesn't match what's on the page. So if you go to the pages, and then let's go to the second page here. And you want to find this one called Home Shop. Click Edit. And here it's using the Visual Composer. And here at the top, you see it says layer slider. And layer slider here, the ID number is 24. Now, if you remember in the layer slider WP, it says layer slider is ID is number one. So all we need to do simply is change it to one. So let's go back to the pages again. And then here, let's click edit. And then extra class name, let's enter one and click Save Changes. And now right after I do that, you can see here it says Home Shop Slider. Now let's click Update and go to the front end and you can see the slider here. Pretty easy, right? So uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, please leave a comment here below this video. And if you like this video, you know, please like the video and you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want me to make more videos, uh, just uh, let me know. Thanks, guys, and see you next time.